Okay. Um, the other thing is to take um, something like one of the walls here. And the idea is to get each of these acorn, bamboo, blossom, catkin, clover, fennel. Also, they've got their own, own page. Um, I've done one already, which is forget me not. Um, that's actually got its own own page on this site. There's no way of getting to it from here at the moment. Um, but as in, you can't you can't click on any of these links and get there. But what's nice is that if someone searches for uh, Twilly's Freedom Gorgeous Forget Me Not, then it's going to go directly to this page. Um, we can have a look at that on the Merchant Centre, the one I've already done. That's one I've already done, and this is the store page for it. Okay, so it's got its own page as well as as well as being part of the whole of the Twilly's Freedom Gorgeous thing. It's got its own page just for Forget Me Not. Um, and we can even have a related product that takes us back to that page. So if we'd came in at that page just for that product because that's what we were searching for, then we can we can get back to the whole range as well. Um, so okay, so how do we do that? How do we get that for things like this acorn here? Let's do it for this acorn. Um, let's just take that picture for a moment. I go to um, manage products and then hit acorn. It's misspelled, that's why. Um, I'll just sort that out. Okay. Um, the thing we need to change is this visibility. We want to change that to catalog and search and we also need to take this Google new used and change that to new and hit save okay if I go back to the Google base manage items Available products. Whoa. Search. There it is. Let's try and add that to Google Base. There you go. That's now in Google Base. It's that acorn. Um, if we go back to the um, merchant center, there it is, Acorn. But it doesn't have a picture. doesn't have a picture because this page doesn't have a picture um, it's it's a product of that Twilly's Freedom Gorgeous range but there's no 
whilst there's a picture in this thumbnail thing there's no picture for that specific product so we need to go back here take that product obviously you can do this all in one go you can set this Google No used and set that visibility all in one go go to um, images browse files Acorn there it is upload file small image and the base image that's it save and continue edit there we go now if we go back to page here this won't appear yet I'll refresh this oh now it's done see ya it's now got a picture for that file and people can click when they search it will come up with a picture that the other thing to do is take um, the related product here and add this the configurable product so it's associated with it but that way when they're coming into this page they're going to see that, that this is related to the whole set and they can they can then be taken into that whole page with all the different colour variations on it. But it's just another way of getting people into the site who are searching for very specific, specific things. Um, so that's Google based, and that's how you 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 um, add products to Google based so that they start appearing in those search terms there, where you've got things like darning mushroom and stuff like that. Um, you should be able to get at it so that there's about 2,000 of these obviously you're going to have to go through every product and, and make sure there's a picture with it I mean you don't have to have a picture with it but it, you know it's, you're going to get better ranking if you have um, you're going to have to go through each product and, and say that it's Google new or used um, and you're going to have to change the visibility to catalogue and search ok um, the other benefit of doing this is this Google sitemap thing. Um, we've